Okay. On and off it. Focus stacking. Nikon Z6. Today I'm filming on the um, 24 f4 kit lens. And the example when we do the stacking is done on the 50mm 1.8 S. It's not a perfect uh, macro lens by any means, but it's handy just to demonstrate the technique. If you've got a 105 or a 60 macro lens, and uh, this will be perfect too. But basically, focus stacking is where we take a series of images, and the camera can change the focus each time it takes an image. So with this keyboard, for example, we'll start, uh, we'll focus in on this end, and as we go along, the focus will gradually move out so that we get uh, all of it in focus. So each of the 20 odd images that we take will focus, the focus point will be on one of the keys and it will move along. Then we combine it all in Photoshop at the end, we should get one image that's perfectly focused and uh, giving that tremendous detail from front to back of the image. Okay, so I had to do it in camera, I'll show you the menu screens and um, let's see how we get on. Okay, so here's the setup, um, just on the desktop. And we've got the menu options, so we'll start off going to focus shift shooting and you've got the choices of number of shots, focus step width, interval until next shot, first frame exposure lock, peaking stack image and silent photography. Focus step width is a scale from 0 to 10, it basically tells the camera how much to focus to jump in between shots. It's a bit potluck, there's no specific uh, unit of measurement um, generally four to five is um, a good average so a number of shots um, basically if you're measuring a shallow scene such as this keyboard you don't need too many shots again the wider uh, the shift in the focus uh, the more shots you'll need first frame exposure lock that um, basically measures the exposure of the first picture and maintains it throughout the sequence. This gives you a nice even exposure, even if the light changes. If the camera does reach infinity before it gets to the maximum number of shots you've selected, the camera will stop. So you're not wasting any pictures. Okay, so we'll zoom in there. Uh, focus on the nearest point of the keyboard, the bottom, left, uh, bottom right corner of it. And then we select Start. The camera will take the number of images at the interval you've set and it'll whistle through. Okay, here's the sequence. I've uh, just taken three pictures out. That's the closest, that's the middle, and then that's the furthest point. You'll see how the uh, depth of field shows the particular section. Okay, so we'll load the images into Lightroom. I've picked 11 for this sequence, and then we simply go to Edit In, and then Open Layers in Photoshop. Photoshop does its magic, I've uh, speeded up the sequence because it does take some time. Obviously the more photos you've got in there the longer it'll take. And once it's finished you should have your 11 pictures all stood up on top of each other. First job, auto align your layers so that any minute changes in the camera position while you've been taking the shots are all corrected and it makes one nice vertical stack. Once you've done your auto alignment, then you need to blend it. So fire, uh, edit, auto align, and then stack. Photoshop will work through the 11 photographs that you've taken, pick out the bits that are in focus, and then put a layer mask over the bit parts that aren't in focus. Culminating in one beautiful, sharp image. Tiny bit of cropping. Just to uh, trim the edges, you can use auto uh, content aware fill for any missing gaps, but uh, I'd rather just crop in. And there we go, finished image. And as we look through, you'll see it's nice and sharp from start at the front all the way through to the back. There are a couple of uh, uh, inaccuracies on this one, but uh, it's just for demonstration purposes. You'll see a couple of the keys are fuzzy. You can always change your layer mask and uh, edit each individual layer if there's a little bit of a problem. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.